welcome back to Kitchen Instruments. Now today we're going to be making carne asada chili just in time for all that cold weather. Okay, now when it comes to chili, there's no set recipe. So you can make this thing as spicy as you want. You can substitute stuff in and out. It's a great dish because it's so versatile. And I have a version of it that I think you guys are going to like that some might refer to as gourmet. Okay, so for this chili recipe, we're going to attack this bad boy in three stages. And the first stage is we're going to cook our steak. Okay, so what makes the carne asada is I bought a four pound top round sirloin and we're actually going to put a wet rub on that and then we're going to roast it low and slow for about 10 hours. Yeah, 10 hours. And whilst that's happening, we're going to move on to stage two and we're going to start to assemble our chili. Now, uh, for this, I'm going to use sausage, I'm going to use peppers, onions. Feel free to substitute things. If you want spicier sausage, use spicier sausage. If you want better peppers, use different peppers. It's, it's really up to you, but the, the method should kind of still be the same. All right, and then we move on to stage three. Now, stage three was where we combine stage one and two together, and bam, we have carne asada chili. So what we're going to do is, while the steak is cooking in the oven, we're going to roast off our sausage. We're going to cook all of our vegetables, our beans, and everything together. Uh, and then at the end of it, while the chili base is still hot, we're going to take that sirloin out, we're going to cut it, cube it, and then we're going to throw it back into the chili and just let it kind of seep in there for about an hour or so just to pick up all the flavors. It's going to be bomb. All right, Sue's ready to make some carne asada chili just in time for that chilly weather. <laughs> Let's do this.
right, there you go. Some carne asada chili to help you through those cold, cold winter days. All right, so like I said before, there's no guaranteed recipe. There's no set way on how to make chili. So just like, if you don't like something, take it out. If you want to add something in, add it in, who cares? It, you know, if you want your chili spicier, make it spicier. It's it's really up to you. Just, just play with it. You get the chili that's right for you. Alright, well that's all I have time for this week, so stop back next week where we're going to be doing the Thanksgiving episode, and we're also creeping up on the 100th episode, which is also going to be next week, so that's crazy. 100 episodes. I'll see you then.